we're going to go on here in just a minute, but if someone keeps the whole law, will they go to hell? No. No, of course not. If you never sin, you will go to heaven. So Jesus' response to him is not wrong. It's not a lie. It's not untruthful. We'll get into why he tells him this answer in just a minute, but what he says is correct. Because essentially there are technically two ways to have eternal life. There are two ways to be saved. One is to be completely perfect and never sin in your life. If you're completely perfect and you never sin, you're going to heaven. In fact, that, that actually does happen because babies who die in the womb, they go straight to heaven and they didn't put their faith in Jesus Christ. But the other way to be saved is to put your faith in Jesus Christ, right? So those are the only two ways that you can be saved. So here, they're keeping the law. He says, okay, you keep the whole law. You know the commandments? Keep the commandments and you're good. And he answered and said, unto him, Master, all these have I observed from my youth. So he's already just said, I've never lied before. Jesus has quoted these commandments. Don't, don't commit adultery. Okay, maybe he's never done that. Don't kill. Okay, maybe he's never done that. Don't steal. Maybe he's never done that. Now again, we're getting to more maybe because when you start thinking of all the various ways that a person can steal, it doesn't have to be walking into a store and taking something and leaving without paying. There's many ways of, of stealing from people that wouldn't fall under that exact circumstance. But anyways, then it says, do not bear false witness, defraud not honor thy father and mother. Bearing a false witness is lying. You're saying something that, that's not true. And he says, well, I've done all these things. Then Jesus, beholding him, loved him and said unto him, One thing thou lackest, go thy way, sell whatever thou hast, and give to the poor, and thou shalt have treasure in heaven, and come take up the cross and follow me. And he was sad at that saying and went away grieved, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked round about. And see, this is where he's going to add and help to the understanding of what he just said. Jesus looked round about and saith unto his disciples, How hardly shall they that have riches enter into the kingdom of God? And the disciples were astonished at his words, but Jesus answereth again and saith unto them, Children, how hard, it is, how hard is it for them that trust in riches to enter into the kingdom of God? Jesus already knew what this guy's problem was when he came to him. Now, we don't always know what someone's stumbling block is or what their problem is as to why they won't believe, but Jesus does. Now, when Jesus answered this person with following the law, well, the Bible teaches us that the law is a schoolmaster to bring us to Christ. So when he says, hey, you got to keep the law, that's, I mean, what, what is the first thing that we tell people when we go, out sin, when we go out soul winning? We have to show them that they're a sinner. Because if they're like this guy, we're not going to get past step number one. And neither did Jesus. If, if you already think that you're not a sinner, then what in the world do you need a Savior for? Then why are you even worried about going to heaven? Why are you worried about having a kingdom when you don't sin? You don't do anything wrong. So what Jesus is doing, before he could even give him the gospel, he needs this guy to recognize you're not good. So when he thinks he's, instead of arguing about him, about him saying that he's kept all those laws and him saying, no, you didn't, he approaches it a different way. He just says, okay, well, if you're so righteous, then just sell everything you have and come, you know, take up your cross and follow me. If you're like, if, you, if you're the Messiah, then why don't you just come and do what I'm doing? But he wasn't willing to do that. He didn't want to sell his stuff. He loved his money. He trusted in his riches. And Jesus knew that. And that hit home with that guy. Now, you know, hopefully after that one day, he realized that, you know, he, he, uh, he needs to humble himself. But Jesus was teaching a truth there and nothing about it was wrong, but that doesn't mean that, oh no, see, because Jesus said that, you have to keep the law in order to be saved because if we had to keep the law to be saved, we're doomed.